and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have PSV against Monaco. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Two starting lineups. Fabinho looking for options. All the way back and they start again. Maya. No, that's not going to make it. Camille Glick. Miguel Veloso. Monaco keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Passes it through. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. And back out it comes. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Fabinho. It'll be a throw in. is deadlocked. And it's Gira. Now it's Luke de Jong. Aim forward. In comes the corner. Away from immediate danger. he had in mind can he finish saved only by poor finishing the defense can get it clear thrust towards the front line Balls come loose, and the chase is on. He's gone for it! Too close for comfort. position to make that interception he's away now the pass can he find a finish now who's ball who's going to get there PSV getting on. And that is going to be the final action of the first half see if views on the first half I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. Whistle goes and we start the second half. 
at least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Well played, he saw that coming. Camille Glick. He's gone out for a throw-in. Jean Moutinho. It's a loose ball. And if you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks like a good ball through. Luke de Jong! To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. PSV going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Looks to slip it through. That really should have hit the net. That's a pretty powerful effort, because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Game nil nil. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And he's there to cut it out and out to safety. Luke de Jong has come loose. Elderson. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Steered out wide. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. And it's Wagner Love. Meyer. Tries a through ball. Well read, he sorted that out. Oh no, it's an own goal! Oh, that is a shame. Sometimes, unfortunately, it happens, but nobody likes to concede a goal like that. Monaco look as though they're about to make a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. So one moment's crazy confusion, but they all count. Listen, sometimes you need that little bit of luck in games like these. Balls come loose. Luke de Jong finds himself offside. <laughs> Ricardo Carvalho. PSV just have to run down the clock. That's a foul. Free kick's been given. And it's looking safe! Luke de Jong versus the keeper, and only one winner. I just thought he was alert and direct. There was no messing about, he was too quick for the keeper, and that's a fine finish. Two 
two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Fine defending there. Passes it through. Joel Moutinho gets on the end of it. There is the final whistle. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, that's what supporters love to see. Tremendous will and spirit, crunching tackles and a real desire to attack. Nobody could feel let down by that. Thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.